hello everyone welcome back to Abner's kitchen in this video i'm going to show you how to make pizza i'll list all the ingredients in the description box i'm using two different types of flour the reason is plain flour is too weak to make pizza and bread flour is too strong so i'll combine them to get the appropriate strength of flour to make the pizza i'll be using 350 grams of the plain flour and 50 grams of the bread flour i'm adding the salt at this point this is because i don't want the yeast to get a direct contact with the salt i've got 250 milliliters of water in my mixing bowl you should add one teaspoon of yeast but because i'm going to add some dough from the previous pizza I made I'm using only three quarter teaspoon of yeast and this is one teaspoon of sugar added to it use one teaspoon of yeast in winter and half teaspoon in summer you don't need that much of yeast when making pizza you just use a little bit yeast when making it because they prove it for at least 24 hours my method is liquid first and then flour it's normally the opposite that is flour first and then liquid but this method gives you a softer dough add your flour in one tablespoon at a time don't pour everything in at once just one tablespoon at a time as I was saying before, they use very little yeast in making pizza. For example, in the restaurants, for about 2 kilos of flour, only 1 gram of yeast will be used. And they don't even use these dried ones, but the fresh ones or sawdough. You can do it by hand using the same method. But you have to knead the dough for at least 20 minutes but with the stand mixer i'll ha uh, i'll knead it for maximum 15 minutes i'll be adding one tablespoon of olive oil to it but because i'm using the stand mixer that will be the last thing i'll be adding but if you are kneading by hand add it at, at this point that is when you've added Pizza just half of very your flour. Simple. All you need is flour, water, yeast, salt, olive oil, and some sugar. Even the sugar is just an extra thing for the homemade ones because we are we want to feed the yeast to make it grow faster, not because of flavor. Sugar is added just to feed the yeast. At this point, I'm going to add the piece of dough I left from the last time I made some pizza. This was stored in the freezer and then the night before, I took it out and placed it in the fridge. And an hour before starting this new dough, I, I put it on the shelf just to make it rise a little bit. This is a trick an Italian friend who is a chef gave me. And trust me, it makes a very big difference. Your dough will taste much better. You can use this same trick when making bread. As you know that I was born in Ghana, but I've lived most of my life in Italy. I have started making my own pizza now because I've relocated from Italy and I don't eat pizza when I go out of Italy. I don't want to buy any pizza when I go out of Italy because the taste isn't same. It's something different. I'm adding one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil at this point. If you don't have the olive oil, you can add one tablespoon of melted butter or margarine. My dough is ready, it's very stretchy at this point. I'm going to uh, rub it with a few drops of olive oil and then cover it with a clench film and I'll leave it to proof for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prep my mozzarella. This is a fresh one, so it comes in some water. I'm going to pour the water out and then slice it. 
I placed it in a sieve so that all the liquid comes out. For my tomato sauce, I've got half can of chopped tomatoes that I mash with my hands, few drops of olive oil, some salt and basilico. I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes and that's it. So my dough has been resting for 30 minutes. I'm going to divide it into four balls. This uh, recipe makes four medium sized pizza. If you want larger pizza, you can divide the dough into three portions. So these are my four balls. I'm going to cover it with a damp kitchen towel and leave it to rise for two hours or until it has doubled in size. So this is the piece of dough I left for my next pizza. It's gonna go into the freezer. I'm using a pizza stone for the bacon. So 45 minutes before I start everything, I'm going to preheat the oven to the maximum temperature. These are the toppings for my pizza. I've got mozzarella, onions, sausages, tuna and tomato sauce. I also have some uh, grated mozzarella as well. Two hours later, the dough has risen so well. So I'm going to make my first pizza. On a flat surface, I'm going to spread the dough out with my hands. Guys, please do not use a rolling pin. Do not use a rolling pin. Just use your hands. Because with the rolling pin, you're going to destroy all the air bubbles in there. The first one I'm making is a pizza margarita. It's simply tomato sauce and mozzarella. This is my favorite. So you add your mozzarella and then your basilico leaves for more flavor. I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes on my pizza stone. Always remember to bake your pizza on the maximum temperature. I'm going to show you a second time how I spread the dough. This second one will have tuna and onions as toppings. These are some of the most popular pizza we have in Italy and please we don't have pizza with chicken. We don't put bell peppers on our pizza. We don't put minced beef on our pizza. That's not Italian at all. I'm adding some grated mozzarella to this one. Then I've got some tuna and I'll put the onions on as well. I carefully place it on the stone with a pizza pill. I bought all these from Amazon, so the stone, the pizza pill, everything was from Amazon. The third one will have tuna and sausages as toppings. For the last one, I combined the second and the third flavors. So I had tuna and onions and then tuna and sausages. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, 
comment like and share this video with your friends and look at that pizza look at it it was so delicious bye